the only constant in life is change. And throughout this year in Eagle Mountain, the conversation around change has centered on the potential of a nuclear future. Six years that I've been here, it's been, uh, it feels like it's doubled in growth. A zone change vote was tabled in January, which made room for industry experts to come in and talk about small modular reactors in a March town hall. The standards are the same, it's just that they're so much more safe. That distance you can be and still be totally affected is much, 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 much smaller. Now, as night falls on 2025, city leaders may have taken a step towards that future through a new annexation policy plan. This policy plan does not expand the boundaries of Eagle Mountain. Six different areas for potential annexation into the city were approved Tuesday night. I'm not opposed to annexation, but if the long-term plan is to have nuclear generation, that's what concerns us. Resident Todd Crowther is particularly worried by Area 2, which bumps up against Meta's property. Oh, the only reason to put it this close is for the data centers, and which is used to power AI. Here at the city's southerly limit, you can see Area 2 sprawl out behind me. This vast swath of land is several miles south of City Hall, and yet Crowther and other community members say it is still too close to home. Vocal opponents like Joy Rasmussen point to nuclear's troubling past. The risks are too great. I have an in-law who died of cancer. She was a downwinder. While city officials have their eye on announcements of the future, like the one in Brigham City. We understand what's taking place in other parts of the state, and we are trying our best to be competitive. Spokesperson Tyler Maffitt says Area 2 is of particular interest to them for energy generation but he insists they're not limiting their options. Battery storage solar, natural gas energy generation. Whatever change is to come, residents like Rasmussen hope the people's voice will power it. If you want to put energy there, let's do something different. It does not need to be in our city. In Eagle Mountain, Jeremy Toms, Fox 13 News, Utah.